I get asked a lot about, um, you know, how I do the rig. And I kind of have a go, you know, I have like three go-to rigs. But um, I laid out one of them here. So what I'm going to do is do my best. Hopefully the audio is pretty good on this. I don't have like a microphone or anything. Just doing it from my phone. Um, but, you know, hopefully you can see how I'm doing it. Because I think it is a little bit more modern than like our grandpas did. Um, and my grandpa taught me how to fish in a lot of ways. But YouTube assisted kind of fill in the gaps of the modern um, aspects of it. So, uh, here we go. I have it laid out over here. Let me show you. All right. So, I just have a normal rod and reel. They sell it at um, Dick's. I think it's like 120 bucks, but it's worth it because it's got... Um, a lot of strength to it for a very thin rod and leaves for tons of fun uh, when you're catching a fish. So, you know, I have 80 pound mono on this one, but I sometimes use braided line. Um, here's the uniqueness of this. All right, so I put a, a bead and then a stopper. So that's how deep it's gonna go. Y'all can learn about the line stoppers and sliding bobbers. So this is a sliding bobber that I can convert to a night mode. Probably not the best setup. Then I have another bead and a sliding sinker weight. So it slides up and down on the line. And then I have that to something you could buy at Walmart, but a lot of times I like to make my own. On this one, I just, you buy, it comes with a swivel. I add a whisker seeker rattle maker. And then I had like a four aught hook. And then I just throw a bunch of shad. And I think this is a um, carp minnow. And that's it. So, um, you know, the way to tie things on, it doesn't matter. Just get it tied on. But there are some really cool ways um, that are more guaranteed. And I actually learned all those things by watching like little advertisements on Facebook and stuff. And I would like slow it down or replay it over and over. And I would say, oh, he goes back through and this and that. So, you know, it takes a little bit of legwork, but um, this is just for somebody that's interested in getting fishing again or getting into fishing again, like me. Grandpa taught me when I was a kid. My dad taught me when I was a little bitty kid. Got one. Got one. Got one. Got one. Got one. Oh, let me get it. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't break off. running towards me he's coming towards me come on come on oh there he is come on up come on up come up come up come up right. there you are oh that's a good blue oh it's a good blue oh shit how am i gonna get it He's about a 15 pounder. Let me see if I can get this camera on. Oh, I think I got That's one I made. That's one I made. 
think this video is crap because I turned it sideways. Oh. But that is the rig I built. My favorite rig. Got to get him out. So I have braided line, three-way swivel, going to a, a, just a sinker, I mean a floaty thing, and there we go, big old blue, caught on video for you, alright, I'm going to focus on him. This hooked good. Probably the worst video in history. Uh.